Good morning, and what is a mild, bright and sunny day. It is Monday the 2nd of October. I've got a nice hot cup of tea. And I have a package to continue unboxing. So, uh, I have already pulled out a copy of Legend of the Five Rings, the uh, Genesis version published by, now published by Edge Studio. What next I have got here um is let's have a look oh it's just it should be it should be this is the emerald emerald the emerald is the emerald empire source book for legend of the five rings so um emerald empire enter the world of rakugan uh, the Emerald Empire is, a, is vast and as varied as the seven great clans that control its lands in the name of the Hantai Emperor. Its society is modelled after the heavens themselves. It is a culture steeped in history and tradition in a land where decorum and propriety carry the weight of life and death. It is a land where spirits shape the very earth and control the flow of rivers and streams. Emerald Empire explores the places and peoples of Rakugan, from small villages of fisherfolk to mighty Daimo in their castles to deep primordial forests and the spirits that dwell within. The, the, this, the, sorry, this book examines the very aspects of life in the Emperor's Empire, from food to dress to religion and spirituality, and matters of etiquette, great and small. In the source book for the Legend of the Five Rings role-playing game, you will find a wealth of information for gaming in the Emperor's Empire, including details on architecture, culture, religion, and other aspects of everyday life in Rakugan, for people of every station of the Celestial Order. Uh, adventure seeds, NPC profiles, and fantastical locations to help GMs bring the world of Rakugan to life. New options for player characters, um, hailing from the Imperial families, the uh, Spirit Room of the Kitsune, or the Dread Conspiracy of the Kolat. So, uh, we open up um, with a rather nice piece of artwork um, in the um, inside the front cover. Uh, and a similar one inside the back cover. Uh, in between, so some more continuing of this artwork. And Rakugan is a place I'm kind of familiar with in terms of the setting because I have done a lot of role playing in the setting of um, Legend of the Five Rings, primarily for, um, you see, uh, it would have been um, third and fourth edition. We played an incredible lot of fourth edition. And this really is the fifth edition of the game. This is the the, the setting source book for um, the fifth. What is the fifth edition of the game? Um, and, uh, and opens up with a piece of colour fiction before we've got an explanation of what the what is in the book. Um, and the first of uh, the adventure seeds, um, or well, essentially the explanation of what the adventure seeds are, what what is in each chapter. Um, so there we go, an explanation of what an adventure hook looks like, um, overview of each of the seven chapters, and then a map of Rakugan itself. Um, this is the classic um, map, which has been done, uh, used uh, several times, including done as a poster. Uh, and then we delve into sort of an age of heaven and earth, earth and the creation of the world, um, which itself is far wider than uh, Rakugan, um, but is li relatively little explored in the wider setting, um, but we have founding of the uh, founding of the world uh, and its history, um, and um, essentially the, the, the spreading of the um, emperor's benevolence and um, the creation of Rakugan. So, work our way through the history, um, through some of the darkness as, as well as the light. Uh, um, essentially, you know, for example, troubles of tides of light and darkness, um, 610 to 815, when the Shadowlands, the area, um, come alive, seems to come alive again, uh, and um, the creatures that would blight the land, the Shadowlands are down here, um, beyond the wall, um, maintained by um, the Crab, crab Clan. Um, to uh, boil out, and they're a constant threat to this day. Chapter one itself is on strongholds of power. So this is dealing with um, the lords and ladies 
um, the governors um, and uh, the retinues and their seats of power, the castles of Rakugan, their courts and so on, which are all powerful, all, um, you know, um, you know, all, but basically um, all pervasive, you know, that, um, uh, and then we also do have a section there, the invisible side of court, which is the servants, whose life certainly goes on um, almost unnoticed unless, some, unless something actually radically happens. Um, but we've got a section of the life in the castle, the bushy of the samurai class, the artisan, the student, and so on, the roles there, um, the servant, the guests. Uh, and what the guests um, uh, rights um, are, and essentially because essentially you are expected um, as a guest to be, uh, behave in a certain manner, and the same way, and in return, um, the, the, your hosts are expected to, to uh, um, behave in a certain manner. So, um, also got details of um, the location of the construction of castles. Uh, we have a um, plans here of the castle of the bright dawn so that gives the game master some idea of what a, you know, a castle looks like the main the main keep as it were um, but, um, and we have things like uh, so so essentially you know you don't have to use this necessarily as the bright castle itself you can use it as inspiration for your own um, you know the, the, the essentially the, the, the court of a local daimyo where your campaign is set. Details also of the Genpuku, the, the ceremony which um, um, children go through to become adults in initiation. Uh, but, um, so various different uh, types of towns, like castle towns and, um, and so on. Uh, we have a, essentially um, the Venture Seed, quite a lengthy one there, um, Treachery of Toshi Ranbo, um, right, uh, and then we have the short discussion of like Kayuden Bayushi, which is the Silken Shadow Palace, home to a Scorpion Clan's ruling family. So it, it, it's it's dealing with um, uh, sort of like with the, the 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 seats of power of the ruling families of the different clans. Um, right, uh, all the way up to the Imperial Palace. You know, you know, you have that adventure seed, missing honor. We've got rumors of the Imperial Palace. Uh, should the player characters ever be so um, um, fortunate to be um, invited, um, and discussion of the hands of the Emperor. So that's important because essentially what you've got are um, the left and the right hands. So the left hand is the tradition of the Crane Clan, uh, drafts laws in the hand player's name, and so on. Supports the throne. The right hand is tradition by is filled by the Lion Clan um, of the, essentially the, the Emperor's personal army, even as it fights its own battles. Um, and we have a discussion of the arts of diplomacy because everything comes down to the arts of diplomacy and um, and settle things, settling things in a diplomatic matter. And of course, but of course, if that fails, uh, war can break out between the clans. Um, uh, and then we have a discussion of just the battlefield on different wars. So, war between the, the, the lion and the phoenix, crane, uh, crane, clab, crane crab war, the Yusuke war, dragon and lion war. Um, so, you know, these are the major um, historical battles, uh, conflicts. Um, then we move on to centers of trade. Now, trade is, um, uh, is looked down upon. Um, in the empire, even if it's seen as necessary, you know, you don't have money. Um, it, um, so that you can, you do will have merchants who, uh, whose status is um, quite low, but the actual amount of money they um, they own and the trade they engage in makes them really important. Uh, and this is doing so. Um, so uh, we are dealing here dealing with urban life. Where this trade goes on, um, and how um, people are involved in it. So some might tend to sort of not be trade, but they may have someone trading in, in for them. Um, to, uh, and with discussions, things like theatre and rakugan, food, 
alcohol, uh, th those, these aspects of life. Um, and we have an example of a city, a peaceful hill clan city. And I said, for the subject of uh, firefighters, um, and firefighters uh, tend to be um, necessary because all the buildings are wooden, um, and they're charged with bringing stopping fires, bringing down buildings in threat of fire as much as um, stopping the fire itself, certainly from spreading. And nice, interesting. Uh, I think one of the things I do like about um, Legend of the Five Rings and the way it's laid out, for example, is we move on to um, cr gangs and criminals. And then the, it, it, it's, it's white text on black. It, it's, it's that contrast there between um, uh, the good and the light and the socially acceptable of um, life in the celestial order. And then the gangs and, um, and criminals are in the shadows there. Um, uh, so, did you think particular, particular um, trading cities? Um, right, uh, I've got a couple of adventure seeds there, um, an NPC there, uh, a corrupt governor, more, um, and then we harbours, discussion things like lighthouses, um, ports, um, harbour shrines, trading ports, port towns, and they're always good because essentially they're going to bring people to you. Um, as much as they are points of points you can travel from um and then here we have a discussion of um what about gaijin basically foreigners um and uh in general foreigners are forbidden from from entering raguyan um there are con there is contact between um um Rikugan and the, the, the gaijin lands but it's very limited and not um and very and kept um, kept quiet. Um, so, and then having looked at crime and gangs, we move on to um, uh, to crime and punishment. You can be magistrates, um, and then you have advice here on playing magistrates and playing clan magistrates because the clans have their own magistrates, and that's always an interesting kind of situation. It's one of the kind of core roles in the game because uh, it gives you. The leeway to act, uh, to investigate. Um, it gives you influence and power where normally you might not have have as much. Uh, so um, we have the estate of the emperor, magistrates of Saipan Tatsuzuku. Uh, again, that's another another map, nicely done. Um, and they've got a list of sort of like you know uh, crimes and their punishments. We tend to be fairly harsh uh, and then we move out from the cities to, into the heart of the empire uh, and we were looking at the land of farms and villages um, the changing weather the patterns grass and snow communication challenge facing rural communities because uh, um, this is where the, where you know most of the produce of the of, 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 um, is is grown whether that's rice or another um, another crop, um, discussion of rural life, um, samurai travellers and how to travel across Rakugan, even that requires permission, um, and then we move on to farms and villages in particular, in particular locations, um, we have got, so here we have an example, Laughing River um, Village. And then agriculture, irrigation crops, beans, grains, fruits, tea, vegetables, um, all important to um, Rokugani life and economy. Um, but, uh, and then but, um, we have a sample village, selling Swelling Vish uh, Paul Village. Um, with an adventure seed, uh, something fishy going on. Um, so several adventure seeds and so on. Uh, and then discussion of samurai and the lessons and how 
samurai interact with those of the who are um, uh, at, uh, on um, placed in the celestial order but lower down. Um, so it's a matter of obligation, um, and then at, um, between the two, between the various uh, uh, peoples of the different uh, the different sort of like stations upon that celestial order. Um, it's a section on roads because they, there are major routes. Um, at, uh, possibility to travel, road or river. Um, uh, and then along the way there are way stations and these always could be interesting sites of adventure um, and then we get, move out get out onto, onto the more open plains before looking at sacred places so shrines of the emerald empire and discussion of, of, of uh, Rakugan's uh, cosmology. Um, and, uh, including veneration of the dead, discussion of the kami and the fortunes, whom um, the player characters, especially if you are um, Shigenja, you will be um, interacting with fairly often discussion of religious practices are down there and that's important to bring into you know you can bring that into is a lot of color and flavor um, um, and it will draw it will also drive um, sort of like other stories as, as a good setting should how samurai worship I've got a list of superstitions um, how weddings are conducted Um, and things like, for example, differences between the clans. So, for example, the section here, battlefield funerals of the lions, which are different um, to um, those of other clans. And then we have particular sacred sites. Like, for example, mountain stream um, shrine. And again, Various locations accompanied by an NPC adventure hook, um, all ready for the um, game master to bring into her game. But at the same time, there are forbidden beliefs um, and malicious fortunes. But getting away from those, there are paths to enlightenment. So um, this is generally the, the, the Brotherhood of Shinsei, uh, the monks of the setting. And there are several well-known monastic orders. Um, each of the clans has its own monastic order. Um, and there are notes to one world touchstones, essentially drawing parallels between the setting of Rakugan and the real world worship uh, and, and, and highlighting the differences. Um, because this is a role-playing game, not real world, of course. Um, Discussing things like um, temple life, martial arts. Yes, the monks do study martial arts uh, and use some form of, of, of element, uh, often elementalism, as part of their um, their martial arts. And then we've got the Temple of the Virtuous Thunders. Again, another nice map. In terms similarly, NPCs, adventure hooks for these locations. Uh, and then in particular looking at particular monasteries such as the earth breath monastery and details sort of like how monks interact with the outside world how they, how they accept visitors uh, myth and legends and more And then we have we move out into the wilds of Rakugan. So unspoiled coasts, mysterious forests, um, unforgiving mountains. Nicely done whether you move on to 
uh, the mountains themselves are you, the, you have the, the darkness of the mountains um, against the white um, of the snow there um, you know just 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 how they differ in um, in, in their environment and that's highlighted by the artwork um, but, uh, Further forward, we do the same for locations like the Kitsune Forest, where the fox spirits live. Um, we're looking at ruins and locations of, out of the past. Um, including a forgotten village. And then we come down to the coast. And again, this nice change of tone where you have the sort of like the, 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 the darkness of the sky above the blue water, but it feels more hopeful there. Um, and then lastly, new player options. So this is where it adds a little bit more in terms of mechanics. So new possible answers for the game of 20 questions, which is how you, you go through the step of answering 20 questions or so as part of character creation. Um, so this is tied to um, the imperial families because there are some members of the imperial family, uh, some imperial family members who do go, um, if not necessarily adventuring, but um, have roles out um, in addition to sort of like being a member of the royal imperial family. Um, so, for example, the Maya family, imperial family, are famous for their cartographer, and their cartographer skill school there, um, and the Seppan, um are noted astrologers so there's an astrology school available for um, as a player character option um, and then sort of like we have you know you can be a Kitsune impersonator uh, Shigenja who is well, actually just in secret a, um, a Kitsune shape changer and I've got a list of um, your advantages and disadvantages um, your passions which will drive your player characters to act, uh, new advantages and so on. New techniques like air shuji, foi juji, uh, and additional tantrums which player characters can aspire to. Um, so for example, you know, at um, like advisor or clan magistrate, uh, spy, yujimbo, yuriki, um, adding further detail and options for your campaign and then of course you've got the index so that is the Rukugan uh, the, the Emerald, Emerald Empire or Rukugan um, um, essentially source book for Legends of the Five Rings um, published by Edge Studio so if you've enjoyed this unboxing in the nook if you um, then uh, please do click on the like button down below and of course if you've got any comments or feedback I do appreciate you taking the time to post those and lastly, if you want to be allowed to see more unboxings of the Nook, where you'll see me out here with a package uh, containing a book or game, in this case a supplement for Legend of the Five Rings, which I will unbox and chat about to the best extent of my knowledge for roughly 10 minutes or so, all of course accompanied by a nice hot cup of tea. Then please do click on the subscribe button down below. Thanks again for watching another unboxing of the Nook, and we'll be back again soon with another one. Bye for now.